I will be talking about GitOps sustainability with Flux and ARM64. My name is Tamo Nakahara, and I work at uh, Weaveworks. I presented a longer version of this talk yesterday at GitOpsCon with Liz Fong-Jones over at Honeycomb. So if you're interested in the longer version, please reach out to us or see the recording. So I think we're in a recession. A lot of people talk about it. Or if we're not, we're still looking for ways to make sure that we're being smart with our costs and especially um, supporting sustainability at the same time. And as technologists, of course, we look to technology to see if we can find solutions. So this talk will cover an actual um, test and great results in which we turn to technology to do that. Um, so ARM specifically is a commercially available on many cloud providers and increasingly is becoming an alternative to x86. So we like to look at the cost savings as well as the en environmental benefits. Uh, and I work for the company WeWorks that coined the term GitOps, um, primarily from this project Flux, which is in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And uh, GitOps is this idea of operations by pull request, in which you have a repo with a manifest, often a YAML file, which states the single source of truth of the cluster. And what Flux does is it listens to that repo, and if it notices a change in the YAML, for example, it'll tell Kubernetes, hey, make sure that the cluster is meeting this desired state. Uh, so you can say this is a pull model. So we're doing all the things that we can to make sure that we're not using excessive resources unnecessarily. And this one solution at looking ARM, at ARM64 is really exciting. And not only that, Flux will make it easier for you to migrate to that if you're interested. Um, especially, Flux ships with multi Arch images like ARM64, ARM v7, and Intel AMD64, which makes this uh, demo that we had yesterday possible. Um, and you can also do it with progressive delivery um, without making changes to the config. So Graviton 2 was announced in December 2019, and that version made it so that it was quite uh, compellingly competitive with x84. So Liz over at Honeycomb wanted to test this out and actually has a great blog post on it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, so a few considerations. So if you're using um, Python or Java, you're good because they are kind of architecture uh, independent. If you're using C++ with um, hand assembled uh, stuff, there's some updates. And Honeycomb is a Go shop. So there's a few things that they did. So first they set up um, ARM64 um, uh, sorry, cross, uh, cross comp compilation instance, um, and they made sure that their circle CI config um, included a build step for an ARM64 target. Uh, so once they had those configurations in place, or the uh, considerations in place, sorry, um, what they first did is they started with one Graviton instance in an autoscaling group, and then they set up Terraform to um, build uh, instances um, at, at each different stage. And then when they got it to 20%, they, wasted, they waited a couple of weeks to see how it went. And the results were astounding. Uh, they had a 35% reduction in cost, uh, which they wrote about, and we are both really excited that you can go on that journey as well. The thing is that, as you can see here, from July to October, it took them many months to get this done. And as we were chatting, they're saying, well, yeah, because we weren't using Kubernetes. There was a lot of um, uh, manual steps. But if you were to use GitOps with Flux, you could do what they did uh, in a day if you have a similar setup. Uh, so that's what we're really excited about, is not only this, these benefits, but also the fact that um, with GitOps and Flux, you can do that. So how would that work? As I mentioned, Flux listens to the repo and notices a change in the YAML file and makes sure that Kubernetes um, does the reconciliation. So in this case, in the demo that we showed, for the instance value, we had AMD64. We just typed it in and changed to ARM64 and saved. Um, it's operations by pull request, so if you want a full pull request version, you can also do that with uh, approvals and audit logs and all that. But when you do the git push, in this case, we showed how then um, the, uh, you could update your architecture to be pinned to ARM64 simply by changing the YAML, and GitOps does the rest. Um, and moreover, like I said, um, Flux allows for progressive delivery, so if you wanted to have Canary deployments, you can do that as well. 
So we were really excited that um, not only did Flux make this easier, but it makes these, it, it gives these gains and benefits. And in fact, if you want to go back and forth between ARM64 and AMD64, you can do that as well. Um, please check this QR code. We have plenty of talks here at Open Source Summit, and we just finished GitOpsCon and CDCon on all these types of talks that cover Flux. Our company is weave.works, so uh, our contact info is there, and if you want to find out more info, please reach out to us. Thank you.